Orange County's first courthouse was built around the turn of the century to house all the county government offices as well as the courts. Dedicated in 1901, it's not a very old building as historic buildings go. Change has come rapidly in Orange County, destroying many early structures in the process. The courthouse stands as both a solid visible symbol of the past and as a functioning government building for Orange County's future. In the mid-1980s, it was the subject of a $4 million renovation to restore its original appearance, but most importantly, to shore up its structure so it could withstand an earthquake of sizable magnitude. Here we see the courthouse before renovation and after. This is the story of how the original courthouse came into existence and of its renovation. Until 1889, Orange County was a part of Los Angeles County. After much agitation, the people living in the southern part of LA County broke away to form a separate county. At the time, the area was largely agricultural. Santa Ana Valley appeared to be a tropical paradise to farmers emigrating from the east. Among the crops which flourished here were sugar beets, walnuts, celery, and lima beans. Sheep and cattle grazed in the hills beyond the valley. while a flock of turkeys gobbled where Orange County's Civic Center now stands. Note the courthouse in the background of this slide. Fruits such as grapes, before Anaheim disease halted production, and oranges grew in abundance. Indeed, the orange became the namesake for the county and is Orange County's most easily recognizable symbol. A spirited and sometimes bitter rivalry developed among the large cities of this newly formed county, each eager to be named the county seat. Finally, Santa Ana was granted that honor, partially because of its central location, but also because it was a bustling farm town where produce was traded or shipped to eastern markets from the Santa Fe Railroad Station. One could easily see that the parade had not passed Santa Ana by. As a matter of fact, many parades marched right through the center of town. William Spurgeon, founder of Santa Ana, was the city's first mayor and a member of the first Orange County Board of Supervisors. When he first laid out the town, Spurgeon reserved a plot of land as the town square, similar to the way many cities were planned during that time period. When county officials began scratching their heads, wondering where to build a courthouse, this plot of land was offered to them for $8,000 with the stipulation that it be built in 10 years. While waiting for the completion of the building, the county had a floating courthouse. For a time, quarters were rented in the Congdon building, shown on the far left of this slide. The first building to be erected on the site was this imposing Gothic-looking jail. Regrettably, it's no longer standing as it would have made a perfect setting for a horror film. Back then, the jail was known as the Lacey Hotel after one of our early sheriffs, Theo Lacey. Here he is pictured on an early version of a black and white unit. In 1889, the decision was made to build a courthouse on the square next to the jail with the costs not to exceed $100,000. See how strange a Los Angeles architect designed the building in a style known as Richardson's Romanesque. It's characterized by rough stone, massive columns, and repetition of the arch. Architects since the time of Michelangelo have used staircases to provide a dramatic effect. Strange designed the staircase to be the central interior feature. 
specifications spelled out every detail of construction right down to the type of plumbing fixtures. The construction was of sandstone backed by brick over a steel superstructure. The floors were reinforced concrete except for the basement. The interior was finished in solid hardwood oak. Sandstone was substituted for Chatsworth Park Stone, probably because the Arizona Sandstone Company was home-owned with its main office on 4th Street in Santa Ana. The brick also was made locally at the Santa Ana Brickyards, located where Eddie West Stadium now stands. The supervisors were pledged to keep as much money within the county as possible. Mounds of dirt were placed against the building to serve as scaffolds while it was under construction. The basement was excavated after the shell was constructed and teams of mules were used to haul the dirt out. The cupola is the only thing left to be completed in this slide. Finally, in 1901, the courthouse is finished. You'll notice that no clock graces the cupola as originally intended by the architect. Our conservative forefathers felt the clock would be a luxury the county could live without. The city had to wait 14 years until Spurgeon built this building just down the street from the courthouse and placed a clock in its tower. Prisoners had to take only a short walk from the court where justice was meted out to them to the jail, where time was given to them to reflect on the error of their ways. Rapid expansion within Orange County led to county functions outgrowing the courthouse building, almost as fast as it was being built. North of the courthouse, a hall of records was constructed in 1923. A connecting footbridge was built between the two buildings after the jail was torn down. In 1975, the Hall of Records was raised for a street widening project. St. Anne's Inn, a hotel directly across the street from the courthouse, was purchased and renamed the Courthouse Annex. Later, it was demolished. Other buildings nearby were leased or purchased to provide additional space. This building described by Robert Winter as a rather exaggerated example of a bungalow. In his book, The California Bungalow was the first Christian church. For a time, it served as a superior court. Later, it was demolished to make way for other civic center construction. Finally, in 1966, this new 11-story courthouse was built on Civic Center Drive at a cost of $16 million. This building eventually housed 29 superior courts and nine municipal courts. Meanwhile, the old courthouse was used for county offices. A new appreciation for our early buildings developed as people began to realize that we were losing landmark buildings at an alarming rate. It became clear that if we were to save any remnants of our constructed past, a conscious preservation effort must be made. Through the endeavors of local citizens, the old county courthouse was declared a state historical landmark. Mrs. Weston Walker, the moving force of this project, and Jim Sleeper, a local historian, are shown at the dedication. The plaque reads, built in 1900 of Arizona red sandstone. This is the oldest existing county courthouse in Southern California. Significant and far-reaching court decisions were handed down here, including the Whipstock case, which dealt with slant oil drilling interpretation of farm labor law, and the overall trial resulting in law regulating explosives. Following a board resolution of March 26, 1974, to use the old courthouse for historical exhibits and archives, restoration was undertaken to return the second floor to its turn-of-the-century appearance. Rooms chosen for restoration were the first superior court, the judges' chambers, 
the court reporter's office and jury room. Following restoration, the courthouse achieved instant stardom. Period movie filmmakers seeking an authentic courtroom setting came to Santa Ana to film. A grant from the State Office of Historic Preservation helped an architect prepare a plan for restoration. The entire building would be converted into a museum of Orange County history. Along with this restoration plan, the architect recommended that a seismic evaluation be prepared to determine whether the courthouse could withstand an earthquake. The Long Beach earthquake of 1933 caused extensive damage in Santa Ana, but created only minor damage to the courthouse. The bridge to the Hall of Records cracked, some facing came down, and the tower was structurally damaged and had to be removed. Otherwise, the courthouse stood firm. The seismic study, however, concluded that the building needed major shoring up and strengthening before it could be opened to the public as a museum. In October of 1979, the old courthouse was no longer occupied pending rehabilitation. From that time until 1987, the venerable old building had been likened to a Saturday morning serial with the heroin tied to the railroad tracks and a train rapidly approaching. For a time, legislation was going to turn the building over to the state for use as an appellate court. Further legislation declared the county would be allowed to complete the renovation and lease court and office space to the state. Study followed study until our heroine was finally rescued. The county was granted the privilege of occupying its own building with offices and a museum. Meanwhile, an extensive rehabilitation of the building was underway. Furniture and fixtures were carefully removed and placed into storage. The interior of the courthouse was stripped of its plaster and wood features. Steel supports were installed to reinforce the structure. Reconstruction moved slowly in order to painstakingly reinstall the refinished woodwork. The oak banister was restored to mint condition, and the marble steps of the staircase were covered to prevent accidental damage during the restoration period. Outside, the exterior of the courthouse was getting a facelift too. Granite and sandstone surfaces were thoroughly steam cleaned. The concrete bond beam installed after the 1933 earthquake was repaired and repainted in order to halt its slow deterioration. Broken and boarded windows were replaced and their frames were refinished. The courthouse exterior was cleaned top to bottom. Even the roof gutters received special attention. Today, courtroom number one jury room, the court reporter's office, and the judge's chamber. offer an opportunity for one to view a scene that is a replica of what Judge John W. Ballard would have looked upon as he presided over the court in 1901. The third floor will also serve as exhibit galleries, documenting the county's historical change from a largely agricultural society to the prosperous urban high-tech county it is today. Upon completion, the first and second floors will serve primarily as county offices. The courthouse already named the National Register of Historical Places lies in the midst of an historical area near the Dr. Howe Waffle House. And the restored Julius Crane House. 
Other historically important buildings close by are the Santa Ana First Presbyterian Church, the Masonic Temple, the YMCA, and the Episcopal Church of the Messiah. These visible reminders of our past serve as a bridge allowing us to cross over and glimpse where we have been. Orange County can take pride in its effort to restore this tangible part of her past.